Hello, let's draw a regular hexagon or six-sided polygon giving the length of one of its sides. The regular hexagon is the only regular polygon that the side is equal to the radius of its circumscribed circle. Let's start by drawing a straight horizontal line at the bottom of our page. So now on the left side of this line we are going to mark A. Now we are going to set our compass to the given length and transport this length to our line setting our compass on point A and scribing an arc to form point B as can be seen here on the video. So now we have our line segment AB which will be the base of our hexagon and we will highlight it with a thicker line. The next step with our compass set on point A and a radius AB we draw an arc to the left as can be seen here in the video. Now with our compass set on point B we will draw another arc to the left. We scribe an arc to the right which will intersect our previously drawn arc at point zero. Up to this point we have followed the exact same steps to draw an equilateral triangle given the length of one side. But in this case the top vertices of our triangle is going to be the center point of the circumference we are going to circumscribe our hexagon. As can be seen from the video the radius has the same length as the given side of the hexagon. To continue using the given measurement of the side which is the same as the radius of the circle. Setting our compass on point B, we will scribe an arc to the right. To cut the circle, which will be the next vertices of our hexagon. Now, setting our compass on this point, we will scribe another arc, which will be the fourth vertices of the hexagon. We continue marking our vertices by setting the compass on the previous vertices as shown here. Describe our second last vertices. So if I'm working with accuracy, the final point should join exactly with the first point A as shown here in the video. So now we will mark all our vertices A, B, C, D, E and F. So now all that's left to do is to join our vertices to complete the hexagon so that, that we are looking to draw. So A to B, B to C, C to D. Now D to E. Or to say E to F. And finally, we can close our hexagon, joining or to say F back to A. Here we have the hexagon that we are looking for. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much. See you in our next video.